Hello, I'm Ryan again from Summit Hydraulics and today we're going to be installing uh, the machine specific third function valve kit for the CK2610. Uh, again, we were donated this tractor by our good friends over at Southwest Equipment over in Morris, Morristown, Arizona. Uh, they were gracious enough to let us use this machine to do this video installation today. So we want to give a good thanks and a shout out to them. Also, if you are looking for any tractors, uh, trailers, implements, anything of that sort, please give them a call. They are very good people, very friendly, and they'll be happy to help. Uh, without further ado, let's get started on our installation. Okay, so what we're gonna do to install the mid-mount bracket, the first thing is we're gonna disconnect all of these quick couplers. You will get a little bit of oil residual coming out of here, so be careful, have a pan or some sort of cloth or something to, to be prepared for the oil spill. Now that we have those disconnected, we're going to remove these two bolts Now that we have the bolts removed, we'll just let this kind of dangle for a moment while we get the mid-mount bracket lined up. Now basically what this does is it kind of goes in between the existing mid-mount bracket and uses the same hardware to fasten it to the frame itself. Now that we have the valve mounting bracket installed, we're gonna go ahead and mount the bracket to the valve itself using these two screws. Okay, and now we can start running our hoses. Okay, so here we've got the tank line installed on the return side here. I've just routed this hose down through this area, kind of staying away from these fuel lines. We've got a couple rubber fuel lines. I wanna go over top of these fuel lines so I'm not rubbing on those. And then uh, we'll just route it down through here stay up against the frame as much as we can. And then we can always use some zip ties here to, to keep this from rubbing on anything. All right, you can see on this one, this is the uh, power beyond port on the loader valve here. We're coming out of there. I've got this 90 degree fitting and it's, it's tucked up in here the best I could get it. Um, we're going to just 90 out of there and I'm gonna run this hose along the frame going going next to the oil filter and I'm just gonna try and route it up against the frame as close as I can out of the way and again there again we'll use some zip ties maybe put a zip tie here keeping it close to this other factory line for the loader 
uh, and we'll just we'll kind of route it the best we can up towards the third function valve and then this line is the one that gets connected to the p port on the summit valve all right so at this point we're just routing the hoses i've got it connected up here at the power beyond and i've also got it connected at the valve we're just going to tuck these hoses back up underneath here and zip tie them as we go along and we will keep them towards the back as close to the frame as we can and that will allow us to get them out of the way of anything in case there's any kind of debris or anything gets kicked up underneath the tractor and uh, we'll just zip tie them up against the frame so we don't risk uh, tearing or ripping or puncturing any of the hydraulic lines. All right, at this point, we are just snugging up our pressure in our return line. Of course, this pressure side here is coming from the power beyond on the loader valve and the tank is just going to the return side of the summit valve. So we'll snug these up. Those are good. Connect our work lines here. And now we'll run the hoses. Of course, uh, zip tying them as we go along. And then we will fasten them to the quick coupler bracket at the front of the machine. We've kind of routed them right up against the, uh, the loader arm here. There is a factory bracket that the hoses for the bucket are uh, fed through. I'm kind of using that bracket to feed our hoses through. We'll just follow the other hoses for the factory lines on the bucket and we can zip tie them uh, to our hoses and just kind of follow them as we route the hoses along the loader arm and terminate at the front of the machine here. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is gonna, we're gonna remove these three screws right here. We'll reuse that hardware and attach our front quick coupler bracket right here, reusing all the hardware. And this is where your implement, your grapple, or whatever you're gonna be attaching to the third function kit is going to connect to. Okay, when we go to install our bracket and you take these three fasteners out, there is a backing plate that those butt up to. When we go to install the Summit uh, front coupler bracket, this bracket can be discarded. It's no longer needed. So when you remove the three screws, take this, discard this plate, go ahead and install the front coupler bracket using the remaining hardware and fasten it to the plastic to half clamp. And then at that point, once we get that installed, we're gonna start running hoses. All right, now we're just snugging up the hoses on the front. Like I said, just a half turn after we've gone finger tight. Not very much on these JSC fittings. And there you have it. Now we can plug in our implement and uh, we should be good to go. Now we're gonna remove this joystick handle so we can install the Summit Hydraulics two button joystick. So these joysticks come with several different bushings to fit on several different size of rods. Uh, you can see here I'm removing this first bushing with a set of needle nose pliers. Remove that and that will give us enough room to install this joystick onto this lever. At that point we can reinsert our fastener screws, tighten them down with the Allen wrench and this joystick will be solid fastened directly to this lever. When you're operating a grapple with a joystick like this, 
Uh, one of these switches would open the grapple, the other one would close the grapple. These can be used either way. Either one can open or close the grapple, depending on how you have the switch connected to the control valve uh, where the solenoid connectors are. Another way you can switch the operation of this is to switch the work lines around and you, that would enable you to switch to whatever function you prefer and which switch is going to open and close the grapple. All right, just connecting the wiring harness with our Deutsch connectors here into our solenoids. We're gonna run this wiring harness up against the frame of the machine underneath here and try and zip tie that out of the way. Uh, and then connect it to our joystick, which is gonna give our joystick power. All right, so here we have our, our uh, harness connector and the joystick lead wire. We're gonna connect these together underneath here. Well, they'll go together like so, but you won't be able to see how I do it up inside here. But I'm going to, I'm going to fasten them up inside this area and I'm gonna route these wires along the frame back in here and zip tie them so this wire isn't dangling around. Um, you know, this will be kind of uh, how you're comfortable with doing it. I'm just gonna try to follow some of these, some of these hard lines back in here that connect to the control valve and just kind of tuck them back in there and zip tie them as best I can to get them out of the way. This third function kit is a great addition to your machine to run various implements. If you have any concerns, we have a vlog on our website that's very helpful. You can also live chat with us.